Yo, what's going on guys? Many here and welcome back to Under The Radar FC. It is time for our second league game and it's familiar opponents we've played many times before. If you're new on the channel, then you may not know that no team has beaten us more than Bayswater. I think we've lost to them a total of three times and we've had so many fiery occasions. Let's have a little recap. Yeah, definitely a game that we cannot take lightly. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the lineup is as followed. We have John in goal. We have Bradley, Tolu, Reggie, and George in the back line. Lamar, Liam, and Eric in the midfield three. We have Sam Bailey on the right, Thomas through the middle, and Akin on the left. Leaving us with a subs bench of Toby, Temi, Fred, John, and Vance. We all know we're so much better than what we showed. You man shouldn't be happy with that keep ball session. It was slow, it was lethargic, it was barely any talking. I could hear conversation louder than people are actually kicking ball. There was no information going. What I'm saying is, if we start like that, when the game starts, we're going to lose. We are 100% going to lose. And you men know we don't want to lose for one, and we don't want to lose to these lot. That's going to be like a double whammy. This is where we get our blowout, so that we're sharp for when the game starts. This is when we're sharp, we're like, yes, left shoulder, right shoulder, we're popping it in. It's a shit pitch, but this is the pitch we're playing on. So don't be saying the bubble, the bubble. Secure that pass and then pop it off. Information. Honestly, if we, started, if we start like we did last week, we win comfortably. But why did we start fast last, season, um, last week? Because we fucking the warm-up was decent. You man, remember what I said? There are certain people we fight for when we come on this pitch. Don't forget those people who you're fighting for. Don't forget the reasons why you're here. There's no such thing as desire because we're here at 10.30 for kickoff on a Sunday. Most majority of the team played yesterday on a Saturday. That's desire. You know what this game is for those of you who were here last season. Like These were embarrassments. game. Personally, on a personal note, if I was here in today's game, I'd be so hungry enough for this. So you guys have to take that energy for those of us who are playing today's game. Come in. Remember what they did and let's do that back to them. Don't don't come here thinking it's going to be an easy ride because there's no easy ride in our league and, we, and, and that's a fact. So come here with the intent that you want to win. Why are we here? What do we want UTR to be? What do we want to be? Do you want to be better players? We become better players by playing with better players. And is anyone here dead? I want to hear it. Is anyone here dead? No. Exactly. So how are we going to win this game? Are we going to win this game? Yes. yes. Does anyone want to lose? No. no. Exactly. Then we're halfway there. One, two, three. UGR! One, two, three. UGR! One, two, three. UGR! UGR. We are ready to go. You know how it goes. Ref lays down the law. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that button. It does not cost you a penny. And also make sure you go over and check out the Under the Radar channel as well. Here we go, guys. Uh, we are going to be in our white kit today, Bayswater, in a yellow and blue, a bit of an unfamiliar colour for us to see them in. Right, first long ball. In the first minute of the game, Liam wins his header. Uh, comes down to Eric. He calmly plays it back to Reggie's feet. Can Reggie find a way out? Number 99's closed him down, taking the shot very quickly. And that's quick thinking from him, but it's gone wide. It's uh, coming back towards our half. Tolu looks like he's got this under control. He's gonna leave it to John this time. He's dumped it far and high up the pitch. Thomas has been tripped up by a caterpillar so he can't get the ball. I'm telling you guys, when we play Bayswater, it's never really an easy affair. They, they always come with a game plan specifically to defeat us and they've done well to clear the ball this time. And uh, it's gonna go through. So there's number 99, Tolu, clear foul there, a shove in the back, and that's going to be a free kick. What can they do? Left foot steps up to take it. That's a nice looking ball towards the back post. It's towed out by Liam. They've now taken that throw in. It's uh, flicked on by the number eight, headed by Liam. And there's a race between Sam and the 26. What can he do? Good job, Sam. So far, a little bit of a sloppy start from us. It's not really been uh, clear. We haven't done anything yet. We haven't uh, given them room to do anything either, though. At the same time, you can see it's still sloppy here. Bradley does well to block the nine shot. Comes back to Eric and he might get us an attack. Hospital pass from Sam. At the back with uh, their centre back, the number eight. Gets the ball away from Thomas. Nice drop of the shoulder from the 29. Can he find a forward pass? It's over Tolu's head towards our goal. And uh, John is decisive there. Good decision. Over on the far side for a challenge. Liam gets his head to it not once but twice. Akin takes it in his stride very nicely. And he's going to lay the ball onto Eric here. Uh, Bayswater trying to press and win possession back. 
from UTR, it's spread out wide from Bradley to Sam Bailey, got the 26 chasing, hot on his heels, nice work from Sam Bailey, skip past the 5, he's taking the shot as well, it's going to come back here to Thomas, one touch, can he finish it with the second he does, that is 1-0 to UTR in the 8th minute. Uh, we have the lead. That's brilliant work from the team to work the ball from back to front, out wide uh, to Sam. He got the shot off. Keeper saved it. And Thomas with a brilliant finish on the rebound. Lovely work from Sam Bamboozling, the number five there. Captain, keeper saves it, but into a danger area. And uh, Thomas is going to punish you there. 1-0 UTR. Two's the box, Sam. That's the one. Ooh. Finish. Go. Seconds. Go. Yeah. yeah. That is exactly what we want to see. Like I said, not really the best start from us so far, but it's good to get the first goal in the game and that surely will breed confidence. Foul there by the 11 on Sam. So uh, with Bradley now, and he's going to play it into Eric's feet, controls it. Eric, aka Mr. So Smooth. Some say that he's so smooth that a drop of his sweat is better than using cocoa butter for your skin. I don't know who said it, but they just did. <laughs> Bradley in possession again, got the 26 in front of him, uh, pass blocked and a uh, nice little turn there to make some room for himself, uh, knocks one forward, number nine's not in the area to get and it's going to be cleared high and wide by Reggie, that's a brilliant touch there from Akin to get the ball and Akin's poked it past the goalkeeper as well, we have discussed this, we've said that Akin needs to start scoring some goals to get his confidence up and he's done just that, what a goal as well, brilliant touch. And what a wonderful finish. I bet uh, the big question for a lot of you guys is, did Reggie mean this pass? I don't know. Let's take a look. Reggie, uh, to be fair, he's, he's swiped at it. He's put it into areas. I don't think he meant it though, Reggie. Beautiful touch from Akin though. Brings it down nicely. And uh, enough strength to hold off the defender as well and poke it past the goalkeeper. Tuna up, a fantastic first 15 minutes now that's looking like. It's a free kick into the box. It's dumped away by Liam and Sam can't beat the bounce. One of our things is we want to be more aggressive and uh, teams do hand it out to us, so we need to hand it back as well. There's a foul from Tolu and he gets a talk into from the referee. They continue play on anyway uh, with a long throw into the box. It's uh, caused a bit of confusion in our box. It's hit off Tolu, comes back to the five, he scoops it goalwards. Uh, nine tries to direct it, can't get the direction correct. We have a corner from the right, Sam Bailey to get that to the back post. Tolu couldn't prevent that from going behind though. It's coming uh, towards our half, Tolu's going to prevent that one with a header. Uh, comes to Mr. So Smooth, aka Eric, uh, he sent the number 23 for a Sunday morning stretch. It's cut out by the number 8 and it's going to come down here to Sam Bailey. Uh, can he find a way through for us? He's found a way through to George, it's a lovely pass, George can't get it past the goalkeeper. I don't know if the first touch put him off, uh, but he's gone to the ground and sometimes you might need a crane to get this guy up, I tell you. Not far out from our box, they have an opportunity to cross. Tolu yet again meeting the ball uh, with his head. I think the number 99 has gone down under the challenge and it uh, looks like a sore one for him. 29 for Bayswater, gets it to feet. Akin with a lovely challenge, his confidence is brimming after that goal and why wouldn't it be? Uh, he's trying to find the feet of Thomas, he can't do so. It's cut out by the Bayswater captain. Uh, it's scuffed away by the number 11, it's going to come here to George. He's uh, seen Eric in a bit of space. Eric has Sam uh, to his right, number 26 yet again chasing back like he did for the goal. Will he get beaten again though? Sam using his I didn't even know Sam had feet like this. He's played it to the back post and uh, this time it's going to be dealt with by Bayswater. But Atkins retrieved possession up against the number four. Can he find room? No. Good defending from the four. He's done well. Uh, can he find a pass down the line? Cut out by George. It's uh, with the four on the far side. I think he's playing right centre back today. Uh, it confuses me sometimes. It seems like they're playing a three. Sometimes they're playing a five at the back. I guess it's just the way they rotate their formation. But this time 26 couldn't keep his shot down. Struck it well though. Bayswater on the attack once more, number 11's overrun that one, comes to Tolu, he's gone for a flip flap there and uh, it looks like we've lost possession, Tolu's also going to commit the foul there uh, on the big man there and uh, yeah, silly to do the flip flap there, that's one of the things that can happen when you are 2-0 up, complacency and also after his few fouls he's gotten a yellow card. What are they going to do with this free kick? Straight into the box and straight into John's arms. Pass across the field, uh, looking for the feet of the number 11. And guess who wins the award for most accidental touch of the year? Goes to that man. Uh, George puts it out of play, though. Moments later, we've earned ourselves a throw in. Uh, George is going to take that from the left. It's into Thomas's feet. Nice control. He's played it back into the box. Eric is there. And it's straight at the goalkeeper. Sam really wanted that. You can tell by his reaction. But that could have been 3 0 there. 
29 in possession once more. Uh, can't find a way through Liam. It's going to fall to Thomas. Bayswater looking a little bit dazed here after conceding these two goals. It's out wide here to Sam. Up against the number five. Gets one across the box. Well uh, dealt with by the number eight. A long high ball for us to deal with now. It's looking for the number nine. He's done well to get under control. Uh, sets it to the four and he's dragged this shot wide. It's now at the back of the eight. Nutmegs Thomas and tells him to close the gate behind him. Uh, plays the ball forward. Uh, looking for the 99. He's jumping there with George. He's done well there as well. Reggie's jumping. It looks like they might have found a way through. Bradley's first on the scene. Feels like everyone's been in the wars so far. It has been a physical game for sure. And there's another man down. They've played it out from the back. Comes to the 29. Uh, clever little shimmy to get away from uh, Akin there. He's running to Eric there. And the referee's giving the free kick the other way. Eric's not happy with that. As I said, it's been physical. George getting even more physical. He's got him with a tackle. He's got him the ball. It seems like he might follow through on that one there. It's Lamar up against the 11. Oh, he's been caught late. Free kick. I hope you guys know when I was talking earlier, the sweat thing was actually a joke. Like, Because I feel like some people will take that seriously, a bit too seriously. But here he is again. Mr. So Smooth doing what he does. And he gets the ball safely back to John. He's just going to clear it for us. That concludes a very good first half for UTR. We're 2-0 up. We look comfortable. And they haven't done too much to trouble us up the other end. What can we do? in the second half. I don't think we've done anything wrong. The only thing now is we're getting a bit over ego with our tackles. That's why we're picking up so many fouls. But in terms of getting into them, they're scared. 99 hasn't done anything so far. It's every single time you're into him. He doesn't want it. He's complaining to the ref all the time. But we need to be careful. Let's be on the other side of it. Let's win the fouls now. I think that makes sense for us because now we've got Tolo on a yellow card. We need to protect him as well. So that comes from you, Reggie, Brad, and George. You have to protect him. And also for you to speak to them as well. But apart from that, I don't think we've done anything really wrong. Yeah, I think um, we've been touching upon it, like Liam's been saying it. Even we're doing the right things, but we're doing it silent. Like I'm winning the header and it's not like one up, like totally I'm round you or left shoulder, keeper, the throwing, yeah. but there's no voice at all. And yeah. that's not just you, that's me as well. Yeah. Everyone in the box is so silent. It's like we're hoping, okay, let me go for this. And we're doing this. They are dangerous from set pieces, but if we talk it across and mark our men faster, then it will look so much better. And a few of us are saying we need to get a hold of the game, but because of the way they are set up, and because the game is scrap, we, we have taken control of the game, but in the right areas. When we get the ball, we've been clipping it in behind. The press is on, bro, they don't want it. They honestly don't want it at the back. And the one thing I do want to touch upon that I have enjoyed and have like, um, like I'm proud of you guys in terms of me seeing it is, bro, every 50-50 we're winning, every loose ball we're there, every header. Liam, I don't think you've lost a header today. It's, it's Thomas up top. The Bro, press this, is this press. Honestly, it's excellent. As it is every weekend, if you haven't already seen the latest episode of UTR Fiverside, make sure you go over to the Under the Radar FC channel and check that out. And whilst you're over there, just drop a sub. It's free. Also, the winner of last week's competition to win the Puma Boots is Rich Perez. Well done. Congratulations. And that's a reminder to you guys, if you want to join in this week's competition, all you have to do is head over to the Under the Radar FC Instagram. Make sure you're following. Like the latest picture. Comment below who you thought was your man of the match or comment anything to do with the match and that uh, you will be entered into the draw for the latest competition. Here we go then, we're ready for the second half. Like I said, we did well in the first, but it makes no difference if you don't carry that sort of behavior and attitude into the second half. We've worked the ball nicely out wide to Brad. Uh, he's got Sam ahead of him. He's had a good game so far. He's caused them plenty of problems on that right-hand side. He's doing the same right now. Uh, brilliant challenge from the 14. And he might be able to start a Bayswater attack. Goes into the 99, does enough uh, to get the advantage from the referee. And 26 is driving now against Bradley. He's beating Bradley for the moment. But can Bradley recover? Yes, he can. That's what he's known for, his powers of recovery. Back over with the 26 again, and he's got that same obstacle in Bradley, but he's found a way through and he's found a pass to the 14. Uh, he's got very, very, very good dribbling, an agile player as well. Gets it back to the 26, across to the nine, and he's done a me. Guys, you know I've been there before. You know I've been there before. Mine, maybe not quite as close, although it's been in that area. Uh, but for doing the right thing, as you should do in that situation, you see a teammate miss a chance like that, get their head straight back up. But what a chance it was for Bayswater, Bayswater to get back in the game. It's the number nine. It's hit off his thigh, his knee, something there. I'm not quite sure. It looks like it's hit off his knee. He's just kneed it wide of the target. And you can see what the 99 thinks of it. Liam there also holding up his hand because he knew that was his man. They found themselves with a free kick. Number five, the captain, to swing one into the box. Number four has been left unmarked. And good thing that John was alert because the whole UTR defense was sleeping there and we could easily have been punished. Another delivery towards the back post. Number eight left in a bit of space there. And we're not picking up our men here, clearly. Uh, they're claiming for a handball, although the calls are half-hearted. It's then swept away by Liam, headed further by Thomas. 
and uh, this move will fizzle out. A few minutes later and it's the 14, uh, sees a little gap, finds the number 8 to feet, gets the ball back again, the 14, lovely feet from him there to swivel and he's got Reggie in front to beat this time, Reggie's done really well, first game back in and he's defended very well there. We've just thrown it back into play. Thomas up against 25, wins his battle. Well done. Comes down to Akin, number 25. He's been brought to the ground, but I think the tackle seemed fair. Uh, it's come to the 14. Thomas picked up possession for us again. He's going towards goal, and he's been brought down by the 25. That will be a UTR free kick for sure. And a yellow card for 25. A free kick for Sam to take then. How will he do? Goes for the low route. It looks like it's going wide anyway. Keeper gets there though. It's just uh, over on the right with Sam. Uh, he's up against number five and I'm sure he fancies himself. He gets into the box. Can he get the ball across? Oh, straight for the keeper. Bayswater with another corner to take from the left towards the back post. Number eight jumping again. He's put into a decent area. No one there to collect. Tolu uh, with a throw in. It looks like this one's gone out of play for some reason. No one's really clear on what's happened though. And it uh, gives us an opportunity to get in behind. Ack in there. Couldn't poke this one past the keeper. We have a throw-in for George to take, but before that, the referee's got some issues to deal with. I don't know, there's some tussling and bustling going on in the box, and uh, Atkins not happy, clearly. From that throw-in, they're going to get their heads to it first with the number four. Uh, number 14 couldn't get under control. Bradley's first to the ball there. A bit of confusion between himself and Lamar. Uh, comes to the 10. Beautiful feet there to squeeze through that gap. Atkins challenging there as well. The referee allows the play to continue. It's with George. He's going to try and get the ball into Thomas. Thomas up against the number 25. He's got the support of George. Uh, tries to keep it in play, but it's not going to stay in. We're on the left side of their box. Uh, George is going to get back out to Tolu. He tries to get a cross in. It's deflected behind. Corner. That corner from the left to be taken by Eric's right into the box good delivery Liam challenging there and he's been swept out play continues though and uh, Bradley does well to nick the ball off the number nine uh, it's Akin driving away from the number nine he's been clipped Akin skips away from the 10 silky feet there the pass is loose though the referee's gonna pull it back for the free kick Sam standing over it uh, tries to curl it in towards the box it's dealt with by the number 10 uh, good use of the body here from Lamar and he's held it off really well against 26 lays it to Sam into the keeper's arms once more on the left with the ball now Bayswater tried to get into this number 10 he's left it for the number nine bit of confusion there 26 has just kicked Lamar uh, Eric's just gone to ground. I'm not sure what's happened there. It's come to the number 10. Brilliant feet to roulette away from Liam there. And he's uh, been fouled as well. Welcome to Foul City. That's what we're going to call this today. It's Foul City. There's been plenty of fouls and plenty of cards. And there's one for Liam. A substitution to be made. John making his way onto the field in the midfield for Lamar. I think he's done well today. Been solid. He's gotten into battle. And he's done well for us. Good game, Lamar. Back into play. Thomas with the ball. Uh, see Sam to his right. Sam still uh, giving problems to this uh, left-hand side of their defence. And uh, again, he can't beat the keeper's legs. It looks like they've given away possession. Eric first to step onto it. He's got three Bayswater shirts around him. Doesn't deal with it like a normal person. Though. Gets it to John nicely. It's cut out though. It's now coming out to George up against number 14. He's uh, got his foot stuck in the ground and then been clipped by the 14. It's a free kick. Almost 70 minutes being played. 2-0. Still quite comfortable to be fair. Uh, I think Sam's tried to dummy that one. Five's gotten a tackle in. And he's going to play this one forward. Uh, looking for the 14 to chase. It's uh, Reggie with the ball. Can he hold him off? He's uh, turned nicely there as well. He's not looked too bad for his first game back inside but he's given away possession here to the 26 it's picked up by the 14 it's a, a little bit scruffy at the moment John tries to get the ball can't get the ball remember I said he's got very good feet and he's used them very well there this time Tolu with the tackle it's gone to ground and the referee's blown his whistle the referee's pointed to the spot for a penalty what do you guys think of this decision they're celebrating the penalty there but what do you guys think is that a penalty yes or no it's gonna cause a definite definite confusion between us here because Tolu steps in I think he's even evaded the challenge of John as well, but the referee's pointed to the spot. Penalty to Bayswater. John then, doing all he can to put him off. Number 99 to step up and take it. He's calmly slotted it to the left side, and that's 2-1. They're back in the game. John tried to stop them from getting the ball there. Captain's had none of it, shoves him into the post. Uh, but, you know, it's always going to happen like that. 2-1. Back in the game, calm penalty from the 99, and uh, it's going to be an interesting last few minutes. It's uh, coming out here to the number seven. He's touched it down nicely, but he's forgotten that Reggie's going to be behind him and on his touch. Uh, this is Eric, smoother than Coco Butter, cheaper than Coco Butter. See you later, number 14. He's got Sam in the middle uh, to play it to. Sam around the corner to Thomas. Thomas threw in on goal. He's gone towards the goalkeeper. He saved it. And I can't tell if he's had a good game or if we've made him have a good game. It's uh, a good save nonetheless. And uh, he's kept them in it. 
Substitution to be made. Temi's going to make his way onto the field. Sam Bailey's had an incredible game as well. Uh, contributed to the game very much so. There's a race to the ball between the number three and Liam. Oh, Liam's been caught late. Welcome to foul city. And look at his reaction. He's not happy with that one. He wants to get going again. And yet again, the referee producing the card. I did tell you guys this season was going to be a lot more competitive and you're seeing an example of that. Even in the first game that we played, the first league game, there were loads of cards. A card for Bradley too. From that free kick, it's into the box and we've let go all the way through. Number eight finding himself free at the back post yet again. We're lucky. Third substitution of the game, I believe it's Vance making his way onto the pitch for Thomas. Let's see what he can do. He's been pinged out wide. This time Atkins touch, not so good. Good strength from the 14. Decent feet, maybe a bit of luck there too. He's tried to be clever there this time and he's lost it. Atkins shows him what he can do. Double nutmeg from Atkins there. He's still got possession. He's up against the number 10. He's recovered pretty well. He's a pretty nifty player himself and they will get the goal kick. It's been booted Claire and Tolu's going to have to deal with it. He does so very well. George gets the header back to Reggie. Reggie swiped it. We could be in trouble. It's a heart and mouth moment there. But Bradley's going to sweep up. They've got a throw in then. 26. Long and high towards the box. So it looks like he's hit off the back of the 25 and off the post. We are getting very lucky at this moment. It could so easily have been 2-2. A long throw into the box. Tolu there trying to jump. And maybe he's just put off the 25 there as well. Otherwise, he, he might have had a clean chance at that header. A chase for the ball now. Vance up against the number three. He's been hit there or I don't know what that was, but he's brought to ground. Definitely looked like a foul to me. Liam seems to be struggling with a knock. We're going to take him off, bring Thomas back on and put Vance at the tip of the midfield. Number eight for Bayswater in his own half. Pings it towards the back post. 25 arriving and that seems to be a weakness that we've had this game. We've been letting people sneak around the back post. That can't happen every game. Another substitution to be made. Uh, Atkins making his way off the field. A very good goal. Finally, he's had his end product to his game and he showed us what he can do. Toby making his way on. He's going on with his bib though. It's in the Bayswater box. It's poked away by the 25. And here's a reminder, Eric, of why we don't get too close to good players. You should know that yourself. Uh, he's also found a pass out wide to the number seven. Can he deliver a good ball into the box? He's forced out wide and it's gone behind. Rolling back to Tolu. Seven's jumping. He's wrapped his foot round it. It's, uh, it's Thomas's feet and that's a good pass. There's another good pass out wide to Toby. Back across the box. Vance can't deal with it. And uh, number five will just hook this away. This season so far on Thomas has improved on his pressing from the front. There's an example of it. I thought the linesman was chasing him as well for a second, but I'm sure he knows he can't do that. Thomas escapes the grasp of the number five. And can he get a ball across the box? He does. Toby didn't know whether to go over his head or foot or whatever. And I think it might have hit his hand in the end. I think maybe Vance and the bounce of the ball put him off. Bradley now, down the line for Vance. Number five, here's a reminder of why you don't get too close to good players. It's Vance into the box, is a good ball as well. It's gonna fall on the edge to Eric. Closed down by the number three. Can he do anything to get past? It's a, it's a bit scruffy here. It's gonna come back to Eric on his right foot. Keeper gets down well. Now that's a good save. Seems to have also hurt himself in the process of getting down there, but you know, I think he's had a good game. You know, we have to give it to him. Credit where credit is due. We are into the 93rd minute and we have a free kick and I don't know why, for some reason, instead of going short and trying to wind down the clock, we've gone to play it towards the back post. Not a good decision. Let's really hope that that doesn't cost us. It's number eight on the ball. Temi seems to have got clattered through in there. That's foul. They are pretty good from set pieces as well. Most of the times that we've lost games to them, we've conceded from set pieces. And uh, here there's a little bit of back and forth going between Bradley and the 25. They know each other very well and uh, maybe a bit too well right now. I don't know what's going on here, uh, but the referee has to deal with it here. I think he's trying to do just that. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this free kick is going to come into the box. Those two still going at it. It goes towards the back post. Number seven's arriving at the back post and there's an empty net for Bayswater to tap it in with the number 99. They've run off celebrating. The referee blows his whistle though because the linesman, who happens to be Mike's today, has blown or flagged to the referee and said that is offside. And I feel like Toby believes the same, but this is the late game controversy. Bayswater are having absolutely none of it. And you know, this stuff does happen in Sunday football, especially where there's not designated linos. But Mike said that his decision was short. He thought he was right. Uh, Toby said the guy seemed to be offside. But the thing is, because our camera was so focused on the going on or the happenings between uh, Bradley and the 25, we can't really tell. But does he look offside to you? I don't know. It's uh, down for you guys to decide. But it looks like Bayswater have been harshly done by. Uh, but yeah, 2 1, and it, we are lucky. We're back inside their half in the 98th minute. Can we do the right thing this time? Not quite. He's got a toe to it, the 25. Number 7 with the ball. Uh, Eric's done well to get in there. Lovely feet as well. Uh, Tolu's going to clear out the pitch. Referee's going to blow his whistle. And I think we've really escaped today. I have to be honest. Although I don't think their penalty that they had was a penalty and we had plenty of chances to get into areas and do the right thing to score we did escape and they they made it difficult for us in that second half for sure 
Another thing I have to say to you guys is Bayswater actually are no more. They've uh, folded. They're not going to be in our league anymore. I don't know the reasons behind that, but whatever their decision is, we wish all their players the best and all that. And uh, if they come back maybe next season or something, I guess we'll see. But I think for us, it's a shame as well because I like the competition. As you guys seen today, it's not your normal thrashing or anything. It's been a very interesting game. And uh, from start to finish, I've even been engaged in it and I was there on the day. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching Sunday League. Make sure you hit that like button if you have been enjoying it. Make sure you subscribe as well because we're so close to 2 million subscribers. Check out all my socials, all the under the radar socials. They'll be in the link down below. But until next time, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. Destined for greatness Back in school days I was known for my lateness Always wanted more Wouldn't ever try to take less Always been the real guy Never liked the fakeness Never liked the fakeness Always kept it real though Back to back On the track with my little bro Keep our heads high But we work with our heads low Destined for greatness It was known from the get go Known from the get go Written in the stars Pulling all the strings Like we're playing on guitars Putting all the work So we know it's really ours